In this life, we all tend to overload on automation. One, two, three. Hey, what's up, everybody out there? This is Loud from my way, Ed Joy and Quinn. What's up, everyone? How you doing? You doing good? Well, I'm doing great. We're both doing great. We're both doing good, huh, Quinn? How you doing, man? I'm doing, I'm doing awesome. Yeah, yeah. You know, hey, today was a beautiful sunny day on Maui. And according to the news, tomorrow is going to start getting cold again. And I guess more rain is coming. So time to bust out those jackets. You know, I like the cold weather. I just don't like it when it rains so much. That's the only thing, you know. Too much rain, everything gets muddy and wet. And, you know, my truck kind of leaks. So after a while, grass starts growing on my carpet. <laughs> I had to go clean out my, my truck today because it smelled like mold. And when I lifted up my rug, there was like sprouts growing out of my carpet. So <laughs> I had to go vacuum it up and clean it up. And it was, it was very, very interesting. I, my, my inside of my truck is like its own, what do you call that? When you grow your own little environment terrace? no no what is it called when like is it what a terrace no in a like an aquarium but you have you grow plants and all that you never did that like in a bottle you never did that ah never mind oh, yeah no i know what you're talking about i thought it was called a terrace a terrace no, I, never meant yeah, I don't know maybe you're right maybe you're right i don't know uh, it, but anyway yeah that's what my truck was, you know, moss, uh, sprouts, grass growing. <laughs> I think I saw a tree sprout too. <laughs> Amazing. All these poor plants trying to reach up for the sunlight. They're like, ah. But I took them all out, vacuumed my truck, sprayed some Lysol. And it's all good now, ready to go. I armor all everything. Except the steering wheel, because I know better now. <laughs> Armor all the steering wheel. Your hands get all slippery. You know, steering wheel gets all slippery. <laughs> Can't even drive. Can't even drive. <laughs> anyway. Hey, last week we had an interesting topic. We were talking about Hawaii and its own currency and paying its residents or or its, its Hawaii people at least, you know, um, for... Uh, incentive per month and you know some people are asking me well what kind of crops would you guys grow and of course number one crop we would grow is cannabis or hemp <laughs> right hemp guys i swear plastic is going out hemp is coming in they're getting rid of straws they're getting rid of all these plastic plates and plastic this and styrofoam that you know what's going to replace that durable products that is biodegradable and one of those products to me i think is hemp hemp is going to take over that's a good cash crop for us to grow of course along with cannabis and you know with cannabis <laughs> no we could supply the legal states and i'm sure there's a lot of states out there you know going through winter snow like now if unless you're going uh, aquaponics and growing indoor everybody's doing indoor. you got to because if not there's no way you can grow you know what i'm saying especially all that snow we could be supplying that just saying, you know, just a thought. CBD oils is getting big. You know, there's some people out there that is promoting CBD oils and and using the pen, vaping the oils. CBD oils has been proven to help with um, epileptic seizures and, you know, people convulse and stuff like that. So, you know, it, it or autism, it helps ease um, uh, pain, inflammation. I mean, it does so much good stuff. And of course, THC. You know, you need a little THC to, um, you know, mellow out the mood. <laughs> and I'll, actually, I think THC helps aid CBD as well. So they go, they go together, you know, like, you know, like a uh, grilled cheese sandwich in a soup. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was just talking about that with my coworkers. We mm -hmm. could guarantee take over the industry. Oh, yeah. You know? Oh, yeah. So easy. Oh yeah. Like how much acre let's try how much acres does HCNS actually own? Or have or leasing or I don't think none of them own it. Let's be real here. 
<laughs> no, no. <laughs> That's another subject. <laughs> Foreign invasion. Hey, we're going to get into that subject later on. Ladat. But for now, I want to talk about something. Uh, while you look up how much land they own. It's called a ter- terranium. A terranium. There you go. You was on the right trail. You just... No. Terrarium. Terrarium. <laughs> terrarium. 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 Oh, yeah. I remember doing those in a bottle. You know, you, you let it create its own environment and it ends up creating its own condensation. And Yeah, I, I might want to do it. This guy has one that lasted 50 years. Never watered. Wow, years. its own ter- uh, terrarium. <laughs> I don't know if I believe it. Yeah. Well, you know, in Japan, they have those, like, domes. Where it's snowing outside and inside they have a tropical climate where they're they're growing tropical fruit and 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 even in the big cities now, from what I heard and i'm not I'm not sure because I'm a just a you know local boy from Maui all the way out here in Hawaii, where we can grow everything pretty much all year round, but from what I heard, the cities in the mainland are converting a lot of their abandoned buildings and 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 turning them into grow um Indoor like greenhouses, grow, greenhouses or, yeah, like called? entire buildings. Where is that? Where is that? I don't know. I'm a, I'm, see, I don't, again, I don't know. Uh, I'm a is banana this tree. Conspiracy what, no, it's not a, <laughs> <laughs> no, I heard that in certain cities, and I don't know what specific cities they are, because I don't want to say, oh yeah, like like New York, and then find out like Amazon, it's denied. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but anyway, did you find out how much land? 41,000 acres. Is this on Maui or in Hawaii? In Hawaii. In Hawaii, 41,000 okay, okay. acres. That's a lot of uh, cannabis and hemp you could crop off of that. Mahi Pono LLC. That's who owns it now. They go that's, by Oh, that's that's the Maui. That's the Maui one. Mahi Pono. Yeah. That's a whole bunch of different corporations. Mm-hmm. You know who works? Ranches. They're Tihari. ranchers, you know. Tihari works for him. Oh yeah, yeah. Tihari, what is that? The that dance group? What are you, entertainers? No. No. <laughs> well, is she the one that was running for office? Yeah. Oh okay. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you said Tihati, Tihari, right? Is it Tihari? Is it Tihari? I don't know. Yeah. Ah oh, boy. But um, forty-one thousand acres, man. Like, see, that would be so easy. Mm-hmm. To take over the industry with that much land? Well, you could do a lot of hemp and cannabis with that. Exactly. That's what I mean, take over that industry. Yeah, and you know, just supply the legal states. Plain and simple. Didn't like Oregon and California and Colorado like revenue big time off of their, just the taxes alone on hemp? I mean, on cannabis? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like Colorado? Colorado, Oregon, or California, either way, it doesn't matter. I think they I think they were, they did very well in the last year after they legalized cannabis or Pacololo pot the devil's weed <laughs> all these different terms uh. and you know that was all conspiracy uh, from from like the cotton growers and stuff. To, to ban hemp because um, I guess cotton was the industry back then and mm-hmm. you know dirty rats they made it sound like oh if you legalize marijuana or you know and you smoke this or get this in your system then um, you know, black people are going to come and rape your wives and <laughs> kidnap your kids like that's what they said that you know that's the kind of shit they used to say back then yeah, yeah. just it's to scare the people some commercials <laughs> punk asses but you know I think that would help us out a lot besides the tourist industry which makes 17 billion a year I rest my case I mean what is there you know what is there missing out of this puzzle here just who's getting the money that's what's missing who's getting the money who should get the money I think I think we should get the money I should get the money damn it just a mill man just a mill. One million dollars. You know what you could do with a million dollars, Quinn? Again, I'm starting to tear oh, just thinking about it. <laughs> I could do a lot with that money. 
I, I could buy food, <laughs> provide for my family, send my kids to college, which is a rip-off scam too. College. You know, people, you got to be careful what you're going, getting into because automation, AI is taking over. So there's a lot of jobs that you'd be going to college for that is going to be ugh, gone in the future. So a good thing to get into is things that you know automation or AI ain't going to get, you know, take over. So for example, um, a skill like electrician or a plumber or, you know, carpenter, you know, that kind of jobs, you know, they're going to need you, uh, you know, a human to do that. Because it's for now, it's too intricate for a computer to go build a house. I'm not saying it's not going to be able to happen. I'm not, I'm not saying that's not going to happen, but I'm just saying. They're just going to have like 3D builders, you know, or 3D printers, like flying on spaceships and then come sit on top of the ground, lift up and then your house is built. <laughs> yeah, but you got to put in plumbing. You got to put in all that. Uh, you got to dig it's up a 3D. trenches. Oh, they just have a blueprint. Live in a hologram already. house. <laughs> <laughs> it's like made out of like plastic. <laughs> Lego. <laughs> the Lego house. But yeah, so 41,000 acres. That's all only Maui. Wow. Wow. They sold it for 20, oh, 262 million. To who? To that That's Mahi it. Pono? Yeah. Which is what, ranchers or something? I don't know. Well, it, they, it's like a bunch, a bunch of, of yeah, corporations. Like said. And they're trying to get our water. And, and it's like, they, it's not even... It's not even... People like really from It's not here. even Pono. <laughs> yeah, no. They and just they call it a Mahi name. Pono. Mahi How Pono. dare you! <laughs> it's just like... Ugh. Punk asses. <laughs> Freaking howlers, huh? Nah, 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 nah. I don't want to go there. I don't want to go there. Hey, you know what, though? This is where I'm going to go right now. I have an issue with people who steal parking spots. Because it happened to me. I was at Co Costco. Costco is a place to go because the cost is low. And you know what? I was about ready to turn left into a parking stall. I, I sat there with my blinker on. The guy pulled out. And he was going, coming up. And I see this little miniature Mazda with freaking surf racks. And he coming around the corner and just was ready to turn in there. A, a family of people, a family of people just walked across and they were pushing their cart. And so, of course, I had to let them go. And so I stopped. And as they were crossing, this freaking little punk ass took the turn and just, just whipped around that right turn and just whoop, went right into the parking stall. And I was, oh, what do you do? You know what I'm saying? What do you do? Do you approach the person? Do you block them off and get out of your car and go, Hey, you punk ass. That was my spot. You know, do you get into an altercation with the person or do you just drive off? Luckily, I was with my wife. She told me, Ed, just keep on driving because I started rolling down my window. I wanted to just yell some obscenities. <laughs> and she, she was like, put that window up. You better put that window up. So being the good husband I am, I listened to her. I almost yelled the word. Uh, I ain't going to say it. <laughs> but I almost yelled out a word. And I'm glad I didn't because, you know, I would have looked bad. But we just went on and I f ended up finding another spot. And it was all good. But it's just that kind of shit, you know? You know what I'm saying? They just whip their, their car right into that spot. And you're waiting for these people to cross. I mean, I could have easily just gone plowed right through this family. <laughs> 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 Legs would have been flying. Yeah, you can and, yeah, ah, no, hell no. And I could have just pulled right in there and then suffered the consequences later. But I didn't. You know? I could have yelled out that word that I wanted to wear, you know, out the window. Uh, the, the first word starts with an F and the second word starts with an H because that's what was. Because <laughs> that's, <not why. laughs> that's what it was. <laughs> oh, I need a drink. You guys heard that pop? Yep, that's my drink because my temperature's starting to boil again. This just happened to me about three hours ago. My ears are getting hot. I got to cool down. Wait, hold on, hold on. 
Oh. Yeah. Yeah. First word rhymes with duck in. Yeah. <laughs> and if you're from New Zealand, the second word rhymes with Maori. But we went eight. <laughs> okay. Anyway. <laughs> hey, so we leave that spot because that guy snagged that spot. So we, we go around and we're looking for another spot. And I swear to God, I hate, I hate small little cars, especially those small little smart cars or mopeds because you think that's an empty stall. And you're like, yeah, wow, and then an empty stall right here. And you pull up and it's a small car. <laughs> or a moped. Oh, those are the worst. Like motorcycles, Harleys. Uh, <clears throat> oh, sorry. I don't mind. But mopeds, dude. I, uh, I don't know why mopeds are parked in a parking stall. Am I going off on this too much? I am, yeah. No, no. Okay. Okay. Well, anyway, Whew. you know what else ticks me off since I'm in this rant? <laughs> I'm also get into this is you, you damn 10 speed Tour de France wannabes going up on a road with no bike lane and just two lanes. And, and it's grown in because the trees and the grass on the side is so long that it's actually turning those two lanes into a one big lane. And then you got these, these freaking guys in their skin tight suits with fluorescent colors, with the Tron helmet. You know what I'm saying? And you know, and they're trying, and they're, they're trying to go as fast as they can up that hill, but they're just going about 10 miles tops. You know what I'm saying? And, and you gotta, got a place to go. You gotta get somewhere. I'm going to work. The thing is, they're going up, right? They're going up the road. It's, this is an uphill. And it's all S-turns. So they're going up this hill on S-turns on a two-lane road, which is grown in with grass on the sides, okay? And so I'm coming down, and of course, people coming up end up stuck behind these 10-speed wannabes and then end up going around them into my lane to go around them, and then I'm coming around the turn, and here's a car right there in my lane. Head on! You know what I'm saying? Now, if I go head on with this car, who suffers? We do. So, you know what I'm saying? That's just a danger, man. I think These they should be still banned. Biking up, and they're still biking it, man. Really. Yeah. Now, coming down, no problem, because they, they fly about 40, which is around the speed limit anyway. So, I, I, you know, when I'm behind them coming down, like the downhill bikers, a lot of time they're going to pretty good speed, like at my speed, you know, right around the speed limit, because I'm a good driver responsibly, you know. So, but anyway, <laughs> I'm a responsible driver. But... So I don't mind going down the hill, but when you're going up the hill, man, these guys are going like fuck, five miles an hour, 10 miles an hour, and you got places to go. You end up putting yourself in danger because you have to go into the other lane to avoid hitting them. That's just irritating. <sighs> irritating. Yeah. You have anything you want to say? <laughs> You want anything you want to add to this, Quinn? You're so quiet on the side, just smiling. I'm just. You ever behind? You ever end up behind those guys? I'm trying to get some facts straight. And you know. No, yeah, though. Even <clears throat> just all these guys that come, come by. I don't know why. I mean, I guess even in the bike lane though, it's dangerous. Even if they're in the bike lane. Yeah, it is. But at least there's a bike lane. You're going up Baldwin Avenue. Yeah. There is no lane like. There's barely a lane for you and the car coming up, you know, oncoming traffic. And then you stick a couple bikers on the side of that. I mean, it's just, it's, why don't they go up on the Haleakala Highway? It's like, um, we were getting to such an increased population where we have to have bikeways or it's just unsafe for anybody. Well, you know, you I, I, the Haleakala like just... Highway is a huge highway, huge shoulders on the side. They could easily go up that highway. No, they pick a narrow, s turny. You know what I mean? Steep ass <laughs> Bruh, road. The Haleakala Highway is way steeper. That's why die going. Like really? That you big. think so? Oh yeah. But like but, going Paia, that's like flat. Like no, no, coming up Baldwin Avenue, going from oh, Paia going to Makawao. Oh, okay. See, I'm coming down to Paia. I'm going down the road, mm -hmm. and they're coming up. But the cars behind them going my lane to go around them, almost head on, man. 
Good thing I go to speed limit because I'm a responsible driver. But, you know, if I wasn't, as my old grandpappy used to say, and he's Filipino, puck up. Puck up, <laughs> <laughs> <Pack> up <lad. laughs> Right before. And hey, you know, and I, you know, a lot of those freaking 10 speed wannabe Tour de France bitches, a lot of them is old. So it's not like they're training for a real race. You know what I'm saying? They're old. They're old. They're old. <laughs> And it's upsetting because they're just old. Get your ass off that road, you old toad. Anyway, wow, I'm hostile, huh? I need to chill out. <sighs> no, but fully. So, um, uh, what is it called? Colorado, the, um, like 23 million added from legalizing marijuana. At the end, like what taxes that oh, they got? Just it's gotta be more than just, that. <clears throat> no, just um, that's how much it just added to. <laughs> I can't even, can't even explain this right now. <laughs> Maui high, <laughs> Maui high, we all do praise thee. <laughs> Don't ask me what the rest of the song sounds. <laughs> no, but. Just um, it ended up with a a positive impact of thirty five million, but I guess they get twenty three million out of that. You know, oh, see, and then all of that's a money give maker. Out, um, just scholarships, you know, for for students. Yeah, I guess the number number tripled. Oh tripled, wow! Tripled, tripled, well, if tripled. you ask me, from, and this is stemming off of what we talked about last week on the last podcast. Uh yeah, we could export cash, uh, export crops, and my crop of choice would be cannabis, cannabis and hemp, and I think we could sell to the legal states, you know, and also pharmaceutical. I wonder how much acres is dedicated to agriculture in California or Colorado. Mm. A lot. <laughs> yeah. A lot. I'm, I'm sure they got. I think they got guys that they just hired to do it, and they're like just growing state. houses. They got like grow houses, you know. The whole house is just converted into one big. Just like a um, whole farm. what do you call that? What you just said uh, the um, greenhouse. The the no, the terrarium. Oh, terrarium. Terrarium. <laughs> <laughs> terrarium. Oh my gosh! Yeah. You know, speaking of foreign invasion, um, Hawaii is not the only place that's under invasion. Um, the whole USA, the whole damn USA, them foreigners are coming in. I tell you what, Amazon was trying to go to New York and Virginia, I guess. Yeah, yeah trying but, to but they got, they're getting shut down because the people there don't want it. They don't want it. And you know why? I'll tell you why. And this is my take on it. Because they're going to price, they're going to jack all the prices big time. Real estate prices are going to go up big time. It's already high. And then, you know, something like Amazon moves in there and everything just, boom, the value goes up. Everything goes up. Taxes go up. You know? And then the only ones that's a, that can afford to live there is the rich, rich people which majority are, well, I don't know this for a fact, but this is what I think. Majority of them are from foreign lands, you know? So you get guys, like, let's say from Arabia, oil tycoons, you know? And they come in and they buy the building and then they, they rent it out. They can rent it out for as much as they want to because, you know... They're not depending on that building for making money. They got oil. But it's just one of their investments that they, they you know. That's my take on it. I don't know. I'm a, Like I said, I'm a banana tree when it comes to shit like this. But, uh, I mean, if I could figure this stuff out and if it's true, then, you know, everyone can figure this out. Right? And that's what I think it is. I think it's foreign invasion. It's happening here, but it's happening all over. You know, 
Um, I, I think, and you might want to look it up, but um, uh, a bunch of people from Arabia, a company from Arabia, bought a bunch of desert land in Arizona. And I guess they they got permission from the, you know, from the state. And they started drilling for water. And I guess they found that there was a water table under the desert. So they tapped into that water de um, table and started growing grass. They were shipping this grass out to their own cattle in Arabia. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And using up the water. They're depleting the water. They're sucking it dry. Now, you think in a desert, there's no water out there in a the desert. I guess there is underneath, you know, if you, if you yeah. drill. And they're sucking that water table dry. And it's also affecting neighbor areas. You know what I'm saying? Uh, try, try to look at that. I might be wrong, but... No, it looks like a supply of ground the water. A Saudi hay farm. It's a hay farm. Saudi, yeah. See, Saudi Arabia. And what? And it's what? in California and Arizona. Oh, California and Arizona. So, you know, these foreign companies come in, they do what they want, and then they bail to their country, leaving us with the shit. And, you know, Hawaii, we're used to that because we get developers coming here all the time with their dumbass schemes, and then they leave us with the congestion of traffic, of just too much too much stuff over here that is killing our reefs and it's killing our fish and it's killing our resources and it's making Hawaii look like shit. Excuse my language. Oh, I'm going to take another sip of this Corona. Corona. La cerveza mas fina. Yeah, they're selling it to China and stuff. Even. Mm. Yeah. For cattle, right? Yeah. yeah but they're not selling it to Arizona guys who have cattle. They're not selling it to anybody in America who have cattle. And that's why they say it. They say it's cheaper to ship uh, hay to China than it is to re for regular farmers to haul like gas prices. You know, over to here, drive a haul and haul the hay all day. Wow, that's crazy. Well, in that case, imagine how much AI is, is going to take over. It's like that, driving dude. on boat. Yeah, like. Wow. Yeah, Boat, boats suck up so much gas. Imagine oh, yeah. on big haul hay rig. Yeah. Oh yeah. Wow, you must spend like thousand dollars just to clear the crop. Yeah. You know, or mm -hmm. something like that. Wow, crazy. Yeah. Yeah. That's why we got to break away from fossil fuels and get into electrical. I believe, because, um, you know, and like, and I quote Bill Burr, the mighty Bill Burr. He said, "Man, you take away their oil money, and what, you know." Terrorist, that kind of stuff. What we're in war with with them about, you know what I mean? All those different things. We're cutting all that. You know, you take away their oil money, and what do they got? Nothing. They just got this black goop that they can't have. It's worthless now. It'll never be worthless. Though. <laughs> we always need oil. We always need for now. But hey, man, we're getting deep in this one. That's crazy. Like they, so they drilled. About 15 water wells. Yep. You know, total. Mm -hmm. And each of those, they get about 1.5 billion gallons of water. See, and they're sucking them dry, <laughs> which is causing an environmental 30 gallon, 30 impact. 30 billion gallons of water just sucked up out of the earth. So what? They can go grow grass, which they're <laughs> going to feed their cows. You see what I'm saying? Crazy. Suckers. Yeah. Yeah. Well... Anyway, anyway, let's get into entertainment, dude. This is getting too depressing. Let's let's move on. Plowing ahead. <laughs> entertainment. Hey, Spider-Man, Into the Spider-Verse. We talked about it before. Awesome cartoon. Great soundtrack. I love the soundtrack. That one song, Sunflower, with uh, Post Malone. And what's that other guy? Bran Lee? Bran Lee or something like that. Um, good song. Good video. And and that, that that whole entire cartoon was just good, but I guess that's out. It's out now. So Yep, there you go, right there. <laughs> ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Yep, yep. And another movie coming out, Elton John, the life story of 
Elton John, Rocket Man. That's the, that's the name of the movie, guys. I saw it, a trailer on it on Facebook. It looked fabulous. Um, starring Taron Eger, Egerton. Taron Egerton? I'm murdering his name. But anyway, Taron Egerton. He's the guy on Kingsman. And he was also in that new Robin Hood movie with Jamie Foxx. Which is okay. Uh, I, you know, I'm kind of Robin Hood out already. They kind of did too much Robin Hoods. And um, after Kevin Costner, that was done. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather watch The Men in Tights That was better The Mel Brooks one We are men Men in tights Real tight No Anyway Anyway Yeah Rocket Man That looked Oh man All these Like Films about You know Artists And And, and their lives And you know and Some of these actors Are hitting it on it man and I think that guy, Taron Egerton, is going to do great. I mean, just the, the trailer, I was looking at him like, wow, he's like Elton John, you know? Kind of like that Bohemian Rhapsody one with that guy, Rami Malek. He was Freddie Mercury. I mean, I, the, the Live Aid scene at the end, if you watch that and then you compare it to the real Live Aid scene, it is like a duplicate. Like, you know, he did such a good job on that. And in fact, he did such a great job that he actually... He's the Oscar winner. Yeah, he beat, he beat Bradley Cooper. He beat, um, oh, what was the other guy? Um, William Defoe. He beat, beat all these big names. And he made it. But um, too bad, after the Oscar, he was walking off stage and um, he fell. <laughs> he ate it hard. And I mean, he, he's okay. But, but if, you, if, if you watch the... The Oscars at Rami Malik, I think you can look it up and they show him in slow motion. <laughs> Boom, down the stairs. So, poor guy. But anyway, he won an Oscar, so he's good. Anything else? Anything else? UFC, guys. UFC 235. And hey, like I said before, March 2nd, Saturday, watch this one. It's a decked out card. Jones versus Smith. Woodley versus Usman, Askren versus Lawler, and many, many more. As, do I sound excited? Huh? Do I sound excited? Because it's going to be a fight of the nights, guys. Trust me. This is a card you don't want to miss. Anything else, Quinn? We're coming up on 32 minutes, dude. No? Nothing? Nothing? Hey, everybody. Sorry if we got too deep in some subjects, but, you know, we're, we're, we're learning. We're getting better with this. Uh, let us know how you, how do you guys feel about it. Uh, give us a comment. Let us know. Check us out on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, any social media that you're uh, that's available to you. And um, we'll come back to you next week. Loud from Maui. Yeah. This is Ed and Quinn. Shoot, 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 slut at.